Yo guys, Drain here, and today I'm going to show you how to build this aquarium, either for fish or for axolotl. Not both though, <laughs> they don't go together. Anyways, let's do this. Alright, so this is what we will be building today. So as you can see, this is a decently sized aquarium. It has rocks and pebbles inside of it and also some colorful coral and I chose to put some axolotls in here. They're just so cute. <laughs> but of course you can also put fish in there or squid or whatever you want in your aquarium. Anyways, these are the blocks you will need for this build. Hopefully I didn't miscount anything. So you're gonna need 24 stripped spruce logs, 28 dark oak trap doors, 23 sand, some bits of cobblestone, stone and andesite, a sea lantern to light up the inside. You are also gonna need a bit of coral. We're also gonna add a bit of kelp, some of the new drip leaves, seagrass and one bone meal to make one of these a tall seagrass. Of course you also want to gather the mobs you want to put inside of your aquarium. You're also gonna need 16 black stained glass. I just want to clarify that this is not the tinted version. This is just the normal black stained glass. We also have some black stained glass panes. 19 polished deep slate stairs, 57 polished deep slate slabs, an iron trap door, a lever and at least two water buckets. Anyways, let's start with the tutorial. You're gonna need a space of 8 by 6 blocks. This is how big your aquarium will be. Of course you can always make it smaller or bigger. It's not a difficult design so you can do whatever you want. Anyways, we're gonna start with our stripped spruce logs and we're gonna place a row of six of these just like that. Next we're gonna go to the outer ends of this beam and you want to go out by another six blocks. Go to the other end six blocks and then we're gonna place in the last beam which is just six blocks placed like that. Next we're gonna put some trapdoors around it so you just want to place your trapdoors on the floor like this and then you can flip them up and you want to do that all the way around. All right, now that you have that, we're gonna place in the sand for this aquarium. You want to place four sand just like this, another four like that, one block of sand, a sea lantern, and then just fill everything else with sand. Next, we're gonna place in our rocks. You want to come to this sand block right here, place a block of cobblestone with a cobblestone slab on top, grab some andesite stairs, place one right to the side, Next we're gonna come over here and place an andesite slab. To the right of that you want to place an andesite block with an andesite wall on top. To the right of that you want to place a cobblestone wall right on top of your sea lantern. And finally you want to place a cobblestone stair right on this block. Next we're gonna place in another rock formation. You want to come to this sand block right here, just in between the sea lantern and the edge one block away from this edge as well and you want to place a cobblestone wall right on top of that block, place a stone block adjacent to it and diagonally you want to place an andesite slab. Alright, now that that's done you should have something that looks a little bit like this. Now we're gonna place in our glass, you want to come to this wooden beam and just place your normal black stained glass blocks right on top of it apart from the corners, you will leave these empty for now. And you want to raise this by an extra two blocks, so the glass is in total three blocks high. And do that all the way around. Alright, now we're gonna fill in these corners. You want to grab your black stained glass pane and just stack three on top of each other in every corner, just like that. Alright, now it's time to finally fill this aquarium with water. You just want to grab your water bucket and do it layer by layer, making sure that every block is waterlocked. Do that for all three layers until your water is right at the top. And there we go, now our aquarium is filled to the brim with water. Alright, so now it's time to finally put in our coral. You want to come to this block in the corner right here. You want to place a what is called a fire coral block and then a brain coral fan right on top. In this corner you want to place a tube coral block and a bubble coral right on top. To the right of that you want to place a fire coral and diagonally you want to place a bubble coral fan. 
Next what you want to do is you want to grab your horn coral, the yellow one, and place it right next to the sea lantern. Place another fire coral right in the corner, a brain coral fan in between the stone and the glass, a tube coral right on top of your stone, and a horn coral block in the corner. Hold on, I forgot something. You also want to place a horn coral right on top of your andesite wall. And now you should have all of your coral inside of your aquarium. Next what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our kelp and place three of them right here. You want to place one kelp right next to this stone. Then go forward by two blocks and place three kelp stacked on top of each other just like that. And on top of this block you can place two kelp just like that. But of course all of the kelp is gonna grow over time so if you don't have enough you can just place one instead of three or two if you are building this in survival. Now we want to grab your seagrass and we're gonna place one right over here and you want to bone meal it so it's a tall seagrass. You can also place one seagrass on this block right over here and another one on top of the yellow coral block. At this point you should only have one more free spot of sand left which is this one right over here and you just want to place your big drip leaf, three of them right on top of each other just like that. All right, now let's start working on our roof. You just want to grab your polished deep slate stairs and place them right on top of the full black stained glass blocks, not on the paints. All right, now your roof should look a little bit like this. Now we're gonna grab your polished deep slate slabs and now you can place them in the corners and also extend all sides by one slab. And again, do that all the way around. All right, we're not done with the slabs just yet. You want to come to the middle of the roof and place your slabs on the upper half of the stairs you placed right on top of your black stained glass. So you just want to go all the way around placing your slabs just like this. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill in this area as well, but we're gonna place an extra slab right on top so it sticks out just like that and that is our roof almost finished we still have our trap door and our lever to install so I kind of forgot to mention this but if you were short on one stair and one slab that is totally my fault I should have said it but you just want to replace that stair with two polished deep slate slabs just like that and add an iron trap door on the back of that block and place a lever right on top so at this point there are only two more things left to do. The first one is you want to come inside and waterlog all of these slabs. This will make your roof look a little bit better because at the moment it looks... It doesn't look great. And if you do everything right you shouldn't have any leaks from the outside. And you also want to waterlog your trapdoor by crouching and then placing your water bucket right on top of it. And there you go, that is the exterior of your aquarium fully completed. Now there's only one more thing left to do which is of course to add in the fishes or the axolotls or the glow squids or whatever you want to put in here. And there we go this is now a fully working aquarium in Minecraft. But anyways that is the end of this video. I hope the tutorial was clear I also hope that I didn't miscount any of these blocks. I hope these were all the right amounts. But anyways, that was it for me today. I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you hopefully in the next video. Goodbye.